Hey, hello all you wonderful beings of light and truth seekers. Welcome back to my channel, Four Circles Healing Tarot. I'm Jess Sadler, your guide or one of your guides through your journey in life using these uh, wonderful tarot cards to help you to find advice and counseling and coaching and all these kinds of things. Obviously as a disclaimer, you know, it doesn't it doesn't take the, the, the place of professional advice or anything like that. It's fun, it's a game as it's called. However, we know how it works, don't we? So just a little point if you see any like smoke coming across here <laughs> that's my incense. I'm using the patchouli incense. I've got this pack of uh, incense sticks you get 12 packets in it and each packet's got about 10 15 20 sticks it's done by weight rather rather than number of sticks and each one is 12 different kinds of uh, not flavors what do you call it? incenses sort of uh, fragrances and really really wonderful I'll, I'll try to find out yeah I should be able to find out where I got it from I got it from Amazon so the name of the company should be there so I'll put it in the uh, in the, the description so if you're returning to this channel thank you so much for your support if you're new to this channel and you like what you see then please consider subscribing and dinging the bell so that uh, you get notified of future episodes and for all who are watching I'd greatly sub uh, appreciate your support if you give me a big thumbs up rather not a thumbs down preferably a thumbs up for, for what you enjoy and there are other ways that you can support me listed below in the description okay so today is going to be a general reading for the weekend the weekend of the 5th and 6th of September 2020 and I'm going to be using the Gregory Scott Tarot this tarot actually isn't on the market yet it doesn't come out until the end of this month but this, this is uh, because I'm, uh, well, I, I, I'm, I subscribe to, to Greg's channel which is like a Greg, Gregory Scott Astrology and uh, you can go to his uh, uh, website gregoryscott.com I believe it is and you can pre-order you can pre-order I think on Amazon as well um, but I was able to get an early copy and it's a very very good deck very intuitive deck as well uh, leaves, leaves a lot of room for you to use your intuition I believe and there's, there's a few of the, the cards which have slightly different interpretations than what others may have provided so <laughs> I was about to ask for a couple of cards or cards one or what the cards were going to let us know about the uh, the weekend ahead the 5th and 6th of September and uh, a whole bunch of cards have just come out I'm only there's one two three facing upwards and there's two I think three facing downwards let's have these ones first these ones first okay I've got four facing down I'm putting four facing downs I'm putting these ones back in the pack let's work with what we have so this is what the universe wants us to know about the uh, the weekend ahead the the 5th and 6th of September 2020 so I'm asking now because of the way these cards fell I'm asking which way round they would like us to have them okay so bottom one first then seven and then that one okay okay cool okay thank you all right so I'd like to choose one more card then for the general energy the general energy for the weekend of Saturday and Sunday 5th and 6th of September 2020 can you believe we're almost in autumn already or fall depending on where you're watching this from okay so the general energy then ooh okay so we have ten of pentacles happy families cards you can see there it's happy family all enjoying themselves. They've got the, the obligatory dog and a nice portal here or archway with the, the pentacles above it. So this is, this is 
what we all kind of aim for. This is where you are currently, you're in a happy place. You know, emotionally, you could have, uh, perhaps you, you're quite successful in your work or in your career, or it's just your, your family life in general is in a good place. Uh, and you can see, this is actually a painting. This is an artist's impression. Okay, so this is the little twist on this. This perhaps is what you would like or what you perceive that you have. Maybe it isn't quite like this. And some of you out there will be saying, yeah, you're right. That's nothing like the way I'm living right now. And obviously being a general reading, this won't resonate with everyone. So take what does resonate with you and leave whatever you don't need behind. And it's for everyone who's watching, regardless of sun sign or ascendance and things like that. So, this is a transformation card. 10 reduces to 1 and it goes back to the magician in the tarot. So, this is like creating the life that you would like. So, you are still manifesting the life you would desire, but you're not quite there yet. It's not quite finished. We also have then the King of Swords in reverse. And this way up, fair and judgmental person in that way. He's very knowledgeable, intellectual. You can see all the books here. Oh, I'd love to have a library like this. I'm into my books. I love my books and always have been into books. And I used to read loads and loads and loads as a kid. I was going to the library maybe nearly just about every day, getting two or three books out and reading them. So this would be ideal for me. This is the ideal situation to have all these books. He's got his sword on the floor, so he's not about to pass judgment. He's not about to cut anyone off or or uh, cut through anything in particular, because uh, he uses his intellect. Okay, swords are about thoughts and ideas, ideals. So he's well and truly in control of his thoughts, normally as the king. However, it's in reverse, so perhaps there's some little niggles, something that you're not quite certain about this weekend that needs some mulling over. It could be a situation, it could be a work related, it could be relationship related, you know, whatever resonates with you in whatever area of life. Something needs looking at, perhaps. Maybe you need to change this is also a one card court cards are one and one in numerology is also about independence you know it's also about creation manifesting so you're not quite in the manifesting mode so you're trying to manifest something but it's not quite happening okay the reason could be the seven of pentacles you're a little bit indecisive you don't know what to go for you don't know which one to choose you've got so many options and you need to choose one and not them all but they all look so good don't they if you look at all these pentacles here and you know you've got this lady here in the garden very richly dressed but she's actually choosing something else and she's ignoring these bigger ones okay these bigger pentacles if you like she's choosing a smaller one and there's a reason for that she's got some insight perhaps and she's using her, her intuition and she knows that she can't have all these bigger ones okay because it'd be too much to take on however she's gonna go for the smaller one and that's a, a better option you know, because that gives us somewhere to start with. And that could be a situation with you. Take small steps, baby steps, if you like, especially if you're entering into like a bigger project or something like that. Uh, whether it's like maybe starting a new business or even a new relationship. Uh, that, that could also be something that's happening. Got a lot of green vibrancy. Pentacles is also about earth and emotions. And you're in control of your emotions but it, in the sense of you know you know what you want to a degree but it's just maybe the path 
to get what you want that you're not quite sure about. So this could be a relationship connection, uh, a lot's being offered on the plate. Perhaps it's someone who's coming in, you know, who's offering you all kinds of things within the relationship and you feel a bit overwhelmed so you decide to think about it and then just choose to take baby steps, to take it easy not to rush into it, not to do the sort of uh, knight of wands kind of situation where you just rush in you know it's a Take it easy, think it over, and choose wisely. Because as a result of that, we have here the Emperor. The ultimate sort of uh, male energy, if you like. The King of Kings, full of fire and passion, but in control of all the elements as well. The Builder, the Engineer, the Master Planner. And although it's a male energy, it doesn't mean to say that it's, it's male oriented, it can be female oriented as well. Okay, so we have this guy here who's obviously very confident, very prosperous. And I've said this before in, in a, another video, he's quite chunky. And in the Bible, doesn't it say that uh, when you're prosperous, that's when you're old and fat? That's the idea of getting to this stage. And we don't always want to be fat, <laughs> obviously. But, you know, it means basically that you live your life and leave a legacy. And he looks like he's planning his legacy here. This is what he's going to be leaving behind when his time comes. So when you make the right decision and you take these baby steps, this is where you can end up. You know, very prosperous on top of your game. And if this is in a relationship, then you're going to make the relationship really, really work. You'll contribute to it. Um, you won't necessarily be in control of the relationship because the relationship is two people, isn't it? So it's give and take. You know, it's not all give and it's not all take. You know, you complement each other. So this is also that idea because he knows exactly what to do. He knows exactly how to go about things. He's got the experience that know that uh, a relationship needs so it could well be that if you're entering into a relationship could be with someone younger or this could also represent the person that you're entering a relationship with it could be an older person someone who's been around you know uh, a while <laughs> I don't want to say knocking on a bit <laughs> that wouldn't be fair but someone who's experienced you know who, who who's uh, more settled in life. You know, it could be someone who's, who's uh, very uh, prosperous already you know, or successful in their, in their lives you know, and have a lot to offer to the relationship. If this is a career move, you, know, you could be entering into a phase of great success, prosperity in, in that sense as well, being successful in your career. Uh, whatever career it is that you, you're, you've chosen to do. It could well be something to do with engineering or architectural work, building. Um, could be computer graphics, old style computer graphics. You know what I mean? This, this, this is the way it used to be before computers. Everything was written down and, you know, loads of books. Now well, that's the way computers used to be. <laughs> Offline computers, that's what books are. Okay. If it's in your workplace, this could well be a uh, a work-related item. You know, maybe a promotion that you've been offered, and you were weighing it up, and you've made a decision. So after the weekend, you go in Monday and say, "Yeah, I want to go for that promotion," and you're successful in obtaining it, and it moves you on in your career in that sense, in your, within your work career, within the family life. This could be a decision that you make for the benefit of the family. You've been offered a few things and you, you want to create this happy family. 
but you, you're not quite sure how to go about it, but something comes along, you either have learned to use your past experience to start something that starts off small, but will end up being very successful. And that will provide for your family and create a happy family situation. The overall energy or the mutual energy is the Knight of Cups. Okay, so here we see this guy meditating, it looks like inside a henge. Yeah, and he's, he's got, look quite sure, it looks like a bowl with, with maybe with salt in it or, or crystals. And he's nicely tattooed all over. And uh, he's, he's well gone. And the Knight of Cups normally is, is you know, sitting on a horse. And the horse is like not going anywhere. It's the, I think it's the only uh, knight in the in the uh, tarot where the horse is showing no sign of movement, and the knight is sitting there in his armor and everything, and his gaze is elsewhere. He's not looking forward. You know, his his gaze is off normally to the left or to the right or something like that. He, he's distracted by something else, not moving, kind of waiting, getting for in, getting that inspiration, perhaps to move. And that's what this represents. This is someone here meditating to gain inspiration about their next move. And because it's in reverse, you get that th over this weekend. So you spend the weekend perhaps doing some inner work, doing some meditation, deep thinking about what you want to do, how to go about it, you know, and you have a lot of options before you, but because of the inner work you do, you can choose the, the single option that will propel you forward into the, the more prosperous, happy family life kind of situation that you want. Whether that's to do with your family, whether it's to do with relationship, whether it's to do with the work, whatever area of life that represents for you. Because you are creating it. You're the artist here, don't forget. You're that artist. And this is what you're creating. This is what you're visualizing. Okay? So this is a reflection or this is what this artist is, is visualizing and he's putting it down and making it a reality on this canvas. So you are painting the canvas of your life with your vision. This is what you want. This is what you're aiming for. And you meditate on that over the weekend and you gain the knowledge, you use the experience you already have. You don't need to learn anything new because you've already got the knowledge. You've already got the thoughts and ideas of what you want to do. However, you do have a lot of options. And you're not quite sure at first which one to go to. But because you've been meditating, you realize this is the best option. And you get a clear understanding of where you want to go. And you take the action, make the plans, throw out the plans. And you have the confidence and the experience to get there. Okay, so that's what I get for that so far. I'm going to now get a couple of clarifiers using the Quantum Oracle. Quantum Oracle, please tell me why is the Ten of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Let's have a look. Commitment. Okay, so you are committed to your family, to your career, to your life path, and you are committed to make it better, to improve it, to move forward in life. Okay. So why is the King of Swords here, please? Why is the King of Swords here? The loving woman, feminine en energy. Uh, perhaps there's someone inspiring you within your life, who has a strong feminine energy, who's sincere, who's uh, committed to, perhaps to you as well. This could be a relationship, but this, this could also be a boss type person. They're looking to you to help them also to move forward. Perhaps in the, if it's in a work related situation or a career kind of thing, you know, they're looking to you to help push the business forward, to come on board. And they're, they're wanting you to make that decision to do that. So why is the Seven of Pentacles here, please? Seven of Pentacles, why is that here? 
The victim mentality. Okay, you've been here before, guys. The victim mentality. This has come up in another read recently, where uh, I think it's the reading I did for for the spirit, um, where you have to let go of this victim mentality. Okay, this could well be the thoughts, ideas, and so on you've been having. I've been here before. I'm not sure. Okay. Yet you know you can make the right choice. You can get rid of this victim mentality. You let go of it before it floods out of it, out of the picture, and and drowns you. Okay. This is all in your mind. This is what this indicates. It's all in your mind. It's nothing that's real. It's not tangible. And this isn't a reality. You don't get water pouring out of pictures. Not in our reality anyway. You may do in another reality, but not in this one. Okay? So this is too many thoughts, overthinking. That's what I'm getting now. This could well be overthinking. In fact, it is overthinking. You're overthinking things, and you just, make, you just got to meditate and choose the right option. And through meditation, you'll, you'll find the answer. The Emperor. Why is the Emperor here, please? Why is the Emperor here? Discovery. Look at this guy here. He's, he's uh, panning for, for either gold or for gems, and it looks like he's found one. He's got this lovely big gem in his, in his uh, hand here, and he's holding it up to the light. Excellent. So, with the Emperor card, that means that you find the answer, you discover the way to go forward through meditating. Okay, so you get rid of their victim mentality and you're able to move forward, you're able to make that decision and choose the option that is best for you. Not the big shiny ones, all that shiny, it's not gold, remember? Just because it shines, let the magpies have the shiny bits, you take the smaller, duller one because that's the way forward for you in that sense. So why then is the Knight of Cups here please? The Knight of Cups, why is the Knight of Cups here? Family. This is definitely about family, style, relationships. Okay? You want the best for your family and that's what you're trying to create with that card there. Okay? the Ten of Pentacles. You want that kind of situation for your family and you're committed to that and you'll do whatever it takes to get that kind of situation so that you can provide for your family or help towards that at least and you'll get there. If this is a career or work related kind of thing or business related you will create that family kind of atmosphere within your workplace so you can move forward. You will have that family Ten of Pentacles kind of success because you'll find the way of doing it. You'll find it. Wonderful reading, guys. I knew this was going to be a doozy. That's why I was so excited about doing this reading today. So I'm just going to get a couple of notes from the universe. Find out what the universe wants to tell us. What does the universe want to tell us, please, about this reading at this weekend? What is the message from the universe about this weekend, the 5th and 6th of September 2020? And we have create space for new love. Okay, create space, meditate for new love, the new passion. It's going to bring you that success, that commitment, that kind of lifestyle that you are striving for, that you're committed to creating, either for yourself on your own, but mainly I feel this is more for family. This is more for those who are already in a relationship, married or otherwise, or it's within a family kind of situation perhaps you're still living at home and you want to take care of your parents and put something back pay something forward for all the care 
and love that they've given you over the years. Okay, so that could be something like that. So the note on the back says, when a thing hurts your eyes, stop looking at it. When it hurts your ears, stop listening to it. And when it hurts your heart, stop justifying it. Victim mentality. Okay, so stop the victim mentality. Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, let's have another card. I'm just going to pull another card. Let's have another card, please. For this weekend, what have we got? We have got there you go. You needn't worry. Okay, you needn't worry. Get out of that victim mentality. Stop playing the victim game. I did a video on this. That was not the tarot of the spirit has called that. Stop playing the victim game. You don't need to play the victim game. You've got nothing to worry about. Okay? And the message is, there's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it. Okay? And it says, big sillies. <laughs> I always love the little message at the bottom the big silly so it's, you got nothing to worry about laugh it off okay you've got absolutely nothing to worry about everything is going to be fine the universe as always has your back okay you just need to need, need to create that space that you want okay create that space for this new love it's going to bring you the happy families that you want because you're committed to it you're going to do it you've got the energy the feminine energy to do it creative energy to do it so this could well be uh, it could well be something creative that you that you get involved with and i would imagine this is also a message in that regard as well that you're going to get creative in some way so there you have it guys what do you think how does this resonate with you let me know comment let me know give me some feedback how do you feel about this particular reading i'll be very interested to know and i do read all the comments any comments i get this is a growing channel slowly growing <laughs> but i'm getting there i'm learning especially with the YouTube SEO <laughs> that does help as well and I'm really enjoying this journey this is as much for me as it is for you all right guys so I really enjoyed it thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all the support that you give me in this channel and I look forward to carrying out another reading once again very soon so until then namaste